Hello everybody, my name is that Joe Guy and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm gonna move my microphone a little closer. There we go. Hi everybody, hi, how are you? How are you today? How's your aunt? How's Jimbaima? Good, good, yeah. Oh, I know exactly the feeling. You don't need to tell me twice. Anyway, I'm stalling. <laughs> hey look, look what I got, look what I got, look what I got. Um, accessories, I got the Tactician's Renewal. Now, some of you may be wondering why I bought this thing. Well, I'll tell you. It's because the UGI in this game failed me yet again. <laughs> so, um, I was doing some selling of stuff uh, down there, um, down there in the Undercroft, so on and so forth. Uh, upgrading people's equipment, people have changed around armors a little bit. There's no major, there's not enough major changes that I'm going to bother telling you. But uh, when I went to sell the thing, you open the selling window and sell all is right here. A second later, that is replaced with buy and sell all is moved to the right. Twice I got caught hitting buy on the tactician's renewal, the 300 gold item that they only sell in the Undercroft as far as I can tell, instead of hitting sell all. And guess what? It doesn't, the tactician's renewal doesn't appear in the buyback menu or the sellback menu or whatever it was, or at least I didn't see it. So yeah, I, I'm out basically everything that I sold um, I sold my valuables for. On the bright side, at least I was bound to use that eventually. But it's another way that the UI of this game just freaking is dumb and just doesn't hold up under polish. I apologize if you guys think that I'm just kind of banging on about that and I don't mean to come off across as overly negative because there's a ton of stuff I love about this game. But you owe the games you love criticism. You owe them to hold them up to their fucking stupid mistakes like that. Because if you don't, they're just going to get worse. Especially a company like EA, who only does what it needs to make money. Uh, so, yeah, that happened. Also, 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 um, I want to kind of raise a cool note. Because somebody said that I should check out uh, the Herlock Alpha Codex. I'm not going to read this out. Uh, but it is Herlock Alpha. It's this really cool story, which you guys can slow down and read if you like about them capturing a, a Kurlock Alpha. It's just a cool wee story. Um, I also got an entry on the Darkspawn, uh, and also an entry on the Herlock, which, if you notice, is exactly the same as the... <laughs> yep, another attention to detail. Good job, Dragon Age Inquisition. Welcome back, everybody. Let's go um, to the War Table, and we're gonna see what people have for us. You know, honestly, it's been a little while since I last played. Oh, uh, one last, one other thing I want to say before we get started today. After I have a drink. Is, um, okay, this is episode 99, by my count, of this series. Uh, which is awesome, like, and, and it feels like I've got so much more to go. I would not be surprised if this series was to break 300, maybe even 400 episodes, which is amazing. Um, it's gonna take me years to get through this, and I am, I am really happy about that. Uh, however, um, because of the new schedule and kind of keeping up with that, unfortunately, uh, in Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2, I did a special little editing thing on my 100 episode stuff. I just don't have time to do that right now, I'm afraid to. In order to keep up with the schedule, and I think most of you would rather I not pause the series so that I have time to make an editing thing and just keep going with it. Uh, so, you know. At the end of the next episode, I'll probably th I'll probably thank everybody, but there won't be any kind of like clever little editing thing. More's the pity, um, just because I like doing that sort of stuff. But I say fan thoughts. I just don't have much inspiration. It's yeah. Anyway, anyway, because um, in compared with Dragon Age Origins and compared with Dragon Age Two, actually less has happened story wise um, compared with uh, those other games. <sighs> any but let's have a look here. Just trying to set expectations. So Dorian's request, I forget this, what this was exactly. Um, oh yes, the Venatori. Dorian's lead were effective. The Inquisition found several locations where the Venatori could be hiding. Advanced camps, purpose unknown. If you wish to deal with these mages, I'm certain Dorian would be pleased. I'll mark the locations on your map should you pass by any on your travels. That's cool. We found them. We weren't expecting much else. And, uh, oh, Inquisitor's Throne Accessory. What? Our efforts have proven successful, Inquisitor. I've taken a portion of our coffers. But the remainder may be used as you require. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Thrown accessory, you say? How fascinating. Oh, and the report ready down here. Shipment of resources from the Falmar has arrived. Well, pretty simple quest uh, overall. So, let's have a look here. We've got the Hinterland resources and 
Yeah, a lot of this stuff. Rumors of Malefic Harm. We've all heard the rumors. Blood Mages in their wending with the Inquisition towards the Templars, so... Um... Yeah, I wanted to send Liliana on this. And so that is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna let's get... See what we have. Just to find information. Uh, let's snip over to our lane and find something for our buddies to do. Uh, Liliana needed to do that, so we're not doing that as well. Red Jenny attends a party? Surely the Inquisition... Yeah. Um... Hmm. Should we encourage this behavior? A small training exercise that's able to disrupt the event? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, this was a bit embarrassing a party, and I like Liliana's one for that as well. It's clever. Truth or dare, I've been picking this off for a little while, so I'm going to look up Truth or Dare just now, and uh, when I come back, we'll deal with this quest finally, uh, just make a decision on what we want to do. I'm going to look up my previous uh, stuff with this quest, so back with them all. Hey guys, so this one seems a bit simpler. Um, this one was about rumors uh, being spread that about uh, this, uh, Divine Justinia saying, no, sorry, rumors being spread that Divine Justinia was alive and that the Inquisition was holding her. Uh, so we were trying to like dissuade this rumor and I sent Josephine on this. So we need the support of nobles to combat this rumor. I can arrange a few key visits and Josephine got the result. I am very, mu I very much enjoyed your soiree from Duke Cyril and I hope to see you at summer luncheon. Do not fret about the ghastly things said about your associates. More reason's heads will prevail and this foolish job gossip will come to no nothing. So, um, either. This isn't super clear, honestly, but it appears to be like trying to find the source of the rumor or get more support for the nobles. And we started off with Josephine. I reckon we should just stick with her. Comme de Maurier, um, because there's in this place kind of near like Celestine uh, in the cottages. So Marquis Comme Cortemonts. Um... So either infiltrate his manor, or uh, the Murier speaking with him to try and drum up support. I I think that you know we should stick with the path that we've gone, uh, the diplomatic route, because this is in diplomatic circles after all. So let's go. At your service. We'll see if this pans out or not. Not really sure. So now we got the Tevinter resistance up here. Nothing else. Uh, so let's see what Connor can do. Connor. Cullen. <laughs> uh, let's see. I received some news from Maveras. Uh, it seems her little resistance has drawn support. Yes, I remember this. Just as she hoped it would. Uh, thing is, that support comes in the form of idealistic magisters with no real power. The ones who might see her group as a threat are the true heavy hitters. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, the resistance against the uh, Venatori. Hmm. Uh, yeah, any enemies of Venatori should be friends of ours. Send some Templars up north, disguised, of course, real Templars, so we can disrupt magic. That should be all the help she needs. Uh, let me to handle this, eliminate one of her enemies, and the rest will believe she can strike at them with impunity. They will back off. The Inquisition is now forced to be reckoned with, even in Tevinter. Openly declare our support for the Resistance. Mm. Let's see. See, the Venatori up there already know that we're their enemies, so that might just draw them out a bit more. So either this one or this one. Send some Templars north. This guy is, of course, real Templars. The sort that can disrupt magic. From the Venatori. The Venatori just don't don't just hit with magic, though. Um, Liliana sends super cop. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, I just lost it for a second there. Um, we're, go we're gonna wait for Liliana to be done. And then we'll go at... I hope you guys enjoy the cinema man dying. Goodness me, sorry about that guys. Um right, what are we doing? <laughs> uh yeah, we wanna send we wanna send uh Cullen on just uh, another sort of uh general quest, so let's let's run him over to Falmire um to gather some resources. Stone of metals, sure. I mean we've got Inquisitor. a fair few of that. But it should be harmless. And we can wait fifty minutes for um Liliana to be done with her thing here. Seven minutes, even better. Because that gives us time to plan our next move. We have 57 power, which is awesome. More than enough to carry on with the main story, but that's not what we're gonna, what we're gonna do today. <sighs> Despite me saying before that I'm not going to um, edit, do any editing video as part of my 100 episode thing, I still think it's an occasion worth marking. And as a result, 
Navane, thank you. Oh, Dorian approves for some reason. Hmm. Um. There he goes again, looking at his door. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Journal. So, Inquisitor's Path. We should make a decision, and I have indeed made a decision. Now, this was, this was absolutely, 100%, my hardest choice of specialization. Um, because each of them have their own benefits. Uh, you've got the Rift Mage, which just makes you a, a by and large, a, a more competent uh, mage. It gives you passive bonuses up the ante. And I think the Firestorm ability, which is really amazing, which is uh, really, really cool. Necromancer is appealing because it's interesting and not a lot of people take it. Um, but at the end of the day, the Rift Mage thing, it, it kind of feels a little bland uh, as a direction to take Marcus, like, not very big on character development, and Necromancer's just a little bit... I can see him stretching to that, but I think it's too much of a stretch. I think it's... I think there's a line there somewhere. And reusing the corpses of the dead is not something which he would bypass the other two options for. However, Night Enchanter... Night Enchanter all about leading from the front, about... Becoming a commander, considering Marcus, who is really not used to this sort of thing, I think, I think it's honestly the trainer that sold him on it the most, which is really really interesting. Um, plus, I've received some comments which indicate that I'm pretty much playing like a knight enchanter already, so I should just embrace it. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Not very immersive, but I'm a busy boy. I'm a busy boy. What is Lizette? Where's my trainers? Thank you for Haven and your efforts at Therenfall. I am committed to serve your worship. Thanks. The soldiers make me nervous. Sitting around here, tempers get short and fighting. I saw one soldier reach for his belt like he was going to draw a dagger on the man he was arguing with. I was lucky he'd lost his dagger or huh. there'd have been more than a bloody nose. Oh, how about that? Call again. Call strikes again. Hey there. Recruit, I await the completion of the first of your orders. Only then can you learn to command. She's the one. So, sell me on it one last time. Tell me why this would best suit me. I cannot. Only you know if you are fit to lead with more than maps. Do you have the metal to raise a blade in Grand Malay? To have your presence make heroes of your charges. This is a path for leaders. You tell me if you are worthy. Mm. Cool. I'm ready to learn what you know. You have your instruction, recruit. Return when you have completed your task. My task is... Now, I could obviously, like, complete these others, because it says, um, Specialist one self studying others can still be of considerable benefit. Uh, the Way of the Rift Mage, I just need three Venatori tombs, and, uh, for the Way of the Night Enchanter, unfortunately, I don't have anything yet. Create a hilt to hold a spirit blade, study the methods required to wield the blade, and Commander Helene will reveal the secrets of the Night Enchanter specialization. Take the essence from Wisps at the Old Thoroughfare, the Weeping Spires, and Granite Point in the Fallow Mire. Okay. Readings can be found among the belongings of followers who share this discipline, or unavailable among the wares of the boot merchant in Val Royale. So I need Lazarite. Um, where does one get Lazarite? Set active. Let's go to map, and let's go to world map. So Falmire... It's in there. Lazarite. Why doesn't it tell me where I can find Lazarite? Um, did it tell me where I can find the others? Am I just being... <laughs> Click tombs from Venatoria Gillen's Glaive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just... Lazarite. Mm. Unfortunately, we don't know where that is yet. Lazurite, I should say. And the Necromancer, Navarin Skulls, and Bloodstone. It just gives the hint of one. But I wonder, I wonder, if it Lazarite is a very simple matter of going to the Black Emporium and seeing what's there. Let's have a look, shall we? It doesn't matter, game. Alrighty, here we go. Hello. <laughs> Handle the mirror with care. It has been known to bite. Balance your audio, friend. These things are the cutest. What is that? It's a, it's a wee piggy. 
do we fox? It's a regular Willy Wonka setup he's got going here. I wonder if there's any cool um, stuff like this. There's a lot of stuff which I may already have. You know, the tier 1 and tier 2 things are actually like pretty good indicators. Hmm. Armor schematics, free army scout armor, very nice. Some actual nice helmets. Vanguard mail, hunter mail, enchanter mail. And it's all a little rich for my blood at the moment, but still. Now maybe, under Lazarite. Yeah, yeah, I can buy it here. So let's just, just buy ten of them. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So... Simple answer, means I'm not casting around around it forever. And then the Wisp Essences themselves from the Fallow Mar, which I think I'll probably just go get. Um, because I could... Oh, I can't buy them here, alright, okay, that's no problem. In that case, uh, yeah, I guess we're done here for... Do not antagonize Chauncey the Tiny Bear. He may be small, but he nips. <laughs> Alrighty, let's boogie. Um, probably head back to, uh, to Skyhold until Liliana's done with her war table stuff, then we can kind of get on our way properly of the day. Um, actually, fuck it, let's just go right to the Falmire. Uh, view it. And, I don't know, uh, we'll pick here, I guess, just smack bang in the middle. Ta -da. Granite point, you say. Who should I take with me? Um, um, let's take Black Wall, we'll take Coal, and we will take, um, Iron Bull. Like a good crew for fighting magic and also randomized. Goodness me. Well, here we are. Again. It's always such a pleasure. So, where is Granite Point? We've got the den over there. Is he going to tell me Fisher's End, Light of Andraste, Beacon, Beacon, Old Thoroughfare Camp, Granite Point? Hmm. Um. I don't know where the different stuff is, so I guess we just wander for now. See what we can find. There's a very loud and peculiar noise coming from over here. Get that barrier off you. Die! Give me some essence. Yes. A little bit of essence? I guess not. I'm tracking a noise. This way. I mean, maybe it was just generic sound effects, but that was really quite scary. <laughs> By the way, I think I've worked out what that, um, you know that green cloud which turns up whenever, um, generally speaking when coals around? I think it might be the enemies exploding, because that's what Audacity, his knife, does. It's coming from directly there. I guess there's nothing here, though. Oh, goodness. Well, that's not what I meant to... meant it. Okay, well, obviously, I'm still looking. Okay, I found a wisp essence just here, so I'm guessing that it says granite point in the foul mire, but I... Hang on. Oh. Um. Old thoroughfare, the weeping spires, and granite point in, th in the foul mire. See, I thought those were different areas. Well, we can certainly find any one of those, so let's carry on. Hey guys, so just uh, an update for you. I'm having a hard time locating an actual wisp. What I thought were wisps earlier were actually just wraiths. Um, so I'm trying to like, I don't think I've seen a, a wisp here, but I picked up a wisp essence earlier and I'm, I couldn't tell you what it dropped from. So I'm kind of just exploring the areas which I haven't explored in the Falamire yet. Um, I'm in the Weeping Spires at the moment, which are these things, which, I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> 
we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm guessing I'll know a wisp when I see one, but I'm hoping it's not just part of what makes up these corpses, because if so, they're not dropping it. Hello? Unless they dropped it before, of course. And this place is creepy. As I mentioned before, it's a pretty linear environment, this area. So I, I sort of, or at least, you know, it gives that impression, but I think that's just good level design. Like, it kind of felt like it was leading me towards an area, and that that path led me to a satisfying end to this place's story. But there's all this stuff off the beaten path to see as well, obviously. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Hello? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to carry on until I find one. Um, I'll see you guys in a bit. Be that for a while, actually. Hmm. This looks promising. Look at this over here. Guarded windmill. Guarded by wraiths. Not wraiths, but still. Ah! Okay, barrier on me. Thank you very much. That one's awkwardly behind a tree. And that's Blackwall lassoing a wraith right there. That's a wonderful thing to behold. Someone help! Burn with righteous fire. Check out my new 12 potion slots. I need glory. Oh, there's a pure wisp over there. What's it look like? It looks exactly the same as a wraith. <laughs> well, whatever. No wonder I didn't notice it when it was attacking me earlier. Hopefully, hopefully, this will drop one. Do you guys want to fucking attack this guy? There you go. He's a beast, he is, actually. Holy crap. Um, can I dispel that magic? Dispel. It ain't nothing. There we go. Okay, come on. Pretty please, pretty please. Phew, okay. Some more of that and we'll be in the money. Um, so there's gonna be specific ones around areas. Oh, cool. Sturdy windmill appears old but well kept. Fuck yes. Fuck yes, it's still going. Well, admittedly, all it needs is wind. This is like the fade, but wetter. In what way is it like the fate? The fact that it is full of demons and spirits? Because I get that. <laughs> Alright, back to it. So where else do I need to go? These are the Weeping Spires. Um, I guess I'll cast around here for a bit further. Uh, aside from that, I need the Old Thoroughfare and Granite Point, neither of which I know where they are. Uh, this looks a bit granite -y. Maybe there's something over here or something over... I'll, tr I'll try there next. Maybe that's where I need to go. It's kind of hard to tell. Hmm. I, I mean, maybe, like, I could always come back here. Ooh, is that one? No. Oh, well. Onwards. Hey, guys. I've located the old thoroughfare. It appears to be connected to this camp, and then goes down here. Check out this, like, old fencing, though. It's, that's almost, like, modern shit. That's weird. Like, chain link. Or maybe just, like, fishing nets. Old thoroughfare. Oh, no, this is Granite Point. Okay, well, uh, uh, this is still one of the areas that I want to go by. Ah. That seems violent. But I know I haven't... I know I've been this way. A little bit. There's my waypoint up there. Oh, hello, Blood Lotus. Just stuff I'm picking up. It's all very... Oh, shit. <laughs> You guys deal with that. I have faith in you. No, I feel like I haven't been up here. Cool. All right. Oh, and there's a ton of enemies up that way as well. Well, we don't need to worry about uh, the ones behind us. So just uh, K to disengage. And then up here. Is that what I... Yes, hello. I be kiting you. Come out here. What the hell is that? Is that a bear? It's fighting a bear. Guys, can you attack my target, please? Oh my goodness, rescue the bear. Or use the bear as a distraction, because we know for a fact the bear's just going to attack us after it's done with everything else. Crap, that's going to be a bad idea. Tactical view, because I can't see. Seven. Do that. 
But I also should be using Mark of the Rift. So let's just use it on these two. Hopefully that'll just kill him. There we go. I think that has simplified things a fair bit. And now the bear's attacking us, so it's only fair game that it died. Goodness me. Uh, let me get a barrier in there. Come on, attack. He's a big bugger. Now we're talking. Sorry, bear. I completely sympathize, but you did kind of start that one. Nice. Hey, we did it. We did it. Sweet. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So now we have it. I think I just need to craft the thing in the crafting bench somewhere. But let's finish exploring this place and then we'll head back to Skyhold. Do what we need to do there. What's this? Oh yes, we found a similar place to this in the den, didn't we? Claim it. Granite points. Some statues in the foul mire are of Avar. Oh, cool. Um, of our origin, it amused Ban Hargrave to bring them back from their co her conquest in the hills and plant them outside her home. The way a gardener might transplant flowers. Ban entertained visiting nobles by giving tours of the statues, regaling her guests with dark tales of our superstitions, which she mostly made up on the spot, of course. Such is the way of frivolous things. It's not evil. That looked, like, that looked quite good, actually. It's not evil, it's just callous and careless. Bless you. What's this? Uh, note found at Dyer campsite. Uh, uncle, I was hiding supplies above the rocks when I heard voices from the windmill to the west. It was the horned men again. Canary. Um, there, there's more of them now. I have to see if anyone is still left alive in the village. I'm sorry, but I swear it will be careful. Hmm. I mean, this place had a problem with Canary once upon a time. Well, this looks like it to be it this uh, for this area. Let me just have one pass around, then I'll end the episode. We'll head back. A nice spot to be sure. And tell maybe like a couple of hidden secrets here and there. Can I get in here? No. Or out here. It really does look like somebody lived here once upon a time. Whoa. Didn't even notice. An old lookout? during Canary War times? Possibly. Very nice. Okay, well, simple. Simple as. I think that's about it now, isn't it? Yeah. Alright guys, in the next episode, uh, back to Skyhold, and we're gonna, we're gonna craft us a specialization. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I shall see you then. I apologize. I, I noticed that. Excuse me, I've noticed that Iron Bull isn't leveled up, by the way. I will level him up in the future. Speak of the devil.